In order to download shaders on Minecraft PC, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher and you want to load into the version of Minecraft you want to get shaders on. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and get shaders for Minecraft 1.20.4. So I'm going to go ahead and select on it and I'm just going to load it in by pressing on the screen button that says play. All right, boys. And after that, you should have Minecraft loaded in. As you can tell, we do have Minecraft version 1.20.4 right over here. So once you went ahead and loaded into the installation, you can simply go ahead and just close out of it. The next thing we need to do is we need to install Java and Jarfix. In the link in the description down below, it will take you to this page over here where it's going to give you an in-depth tutorial, but also guys, it is going to give you the download to both Java and Jarfix. These are the most recent versions and they will work. So let's go ahead and install Java first. So all you want to do is you want to press on the blue link right over here bam then it's going to take you to a page that looks like this this is completely legit and over here you want to make sure that you do select the proper version so for this video i'm going to go ahead and get it on windows but you can get it on linux or mac ios and you want to make sure that you install the x64 install right over here so the middle one and you just want to go ahead and press on download right over here and then java should be installed right over here and so let's go ahead and just wait for that a little bit all right boys and you should see it on the corner of your screen you just want to go ahead and open it because it will essentially be a .exe file so you just want to go ahead and just load it in and then it should open this up and you just want to go ahead and press on next Go ahead and press on next one more time and then it's now going to be installing java which we will need in order to actually load in shaders all right boys once you went ahead and done that you should see that it has successfully installed so all you want to do is just press on close and then you want to go back to the website that is linked in the description down below and now we're going to go ahead and install jarfix which the download to jarfix can be found on the website right over here it is going to be the blue link so let's go ahead and just press on it just like so and this is the download page to jarfix all we need to do is we need to scroll down until we see this link over here that says jarfix.exe it should be like highlighted in blue all you want to do is you just want to press on it and now it is going to install jarfix so go ahead and open it up once more and make sure that you do give it permission as well all right boys then this should pop up right over here and it's basically going to allow you to use java files so if you see the screen you are on the right track go ahead and just press on ok the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to this website which i link in the link in the description down below and we need to go ahead and download optifine so the download to optifine can also be found on this website as well all you need to do is just need to press on it so like literally everything is on that website so but anyways guys once you went ahead and press the link it should take you to a page that looks like this all right so what you want to do is you want to find the version of minecraft that um you know you're trying to get shaders on so if you recall in this video i'm getting shaders from minecraft 1.20.4 however if you're trying to get shaders for another version then you guys could just go ahead and just find it right over here but uh i'm gonna go ahead and use 1.20.4 and then bam you should see a button over here right next to it that says download so go ahead and press on it and then it should take you to a page that looks like this and all you need to do is this you need to wait five seconds in order for the ads to load in all right boys then you want to go over here and press on the button that says skip and then this should appear Go ahead and press on download once more and then it should be installing optifine all right guys so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and load into minecraft with optifine so i'm going to drag in optifine into my desktop right over here just so you're able to see it a little bit more all right boys so now that you have optifine over here all you need to do is you need to right click on it then you want to select on the option that says open with and you want to find java right over here so let's go ahead and just put that and as you can tell this screen should appear all you want to do is you want to press on install and once you're done with that you should get this right over here that says optifine is successfully installed so go ahead and press on ok once you have that down and the next thing you want to do is you actually want to open up the minecraft launcher once again and the reason why we have the launcher out right over here is because you want to double check that optifine did install successfully so yep as you can tell we do have optifine right over here so you just want to go ahead and just quickly load into optifine right now and it's going to give you this warning over here so just go ahead and press on i understand and just press on play all right boys now that you do have optifine installed you should see that it says minecraft 1.20.4 or whatever version you did install and then it's going to say in parentheses modded that is how you know you did everything right so the next thing you want to do is you want to close up a minecraft once again and then you want to load back into the site that i did link in the description down below which is right over here and the next thing you want to do is you 
you want to install a shader in order to actually use so over here i did link a website that has a lot of really cool shaders it is called curse forge and there's a lot of really cool shaders right over here so what you want to do is you want to search for a shader that you want but make sure that it does work for your version of minecraft all right guys so i'm going to install the complementary shaders right over here so i'm just going to go ahead and just press on it and right over here underneath where it says game versions you want to double check that it actually is compatible with your minecraft version that you've downloaded optifine for and that you did this whole tutorial with so obviously i did it for minecraft 1.20.4 and it does appear right over here so that means that i am good to go to install this shader so i'm just going to go ahead and press on the download button right over here and then bam you should eventually see that it did install right over here which is definitely pretty cool and i'm actually going to go ahead and put this shader in my desktop just so you're able to actually see it a little bit better all right boys the next thing you want to do is you want to open up the minecraft launcher one more time and you want to go ahead and load into the optifine installation so i'm going to go ahead and just load it up real quick all right boys now that you have the home screen all you want to do is you want to select on options go to video settings then go over here where it says shaders and then you should see this screen appear right over here and you will also notice that there is a button called shaders folder so all you want to do is you want to press on that and this is basically the folder that does contain all of your shaders so what you want to do from now is you want to go ahead and drag your shaders that we did download earlier in my case i downloaded the complementary shaders and you just want to drag it into this folder so all you got to do is just move it in bam just like so then it should appear on minecraft yep the complimentary reimagined shaders you want to go ahead and select on it and it might like reload minecraft over here and as you can tell it is now selected so go ahead and press on done press on done one more time and the next thing you want to do is you just want to load into a minecraft world and as you can tell our shaders did load in right over here so this just looks absolutely amazing and beautiful like shaders honestly are like the coolest things ever guys i really do hope that this tutorial was helpful if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing and if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comment section down below see you later french fries